Our home base pose for much of this yoga flow will be Lilu pose. Just lie down with your feet together, arms to your side, body symmetrical, and just relaxing, forgetting all preconceived ideas of what will be expected of you. In fact, squelch all feelings of having to do anything in this video or even things in real life perfectly. Just let go of all self and external expectations for just a few moments during this time you've given to yourself. Then allow your feet to part six or so inches and just fall comfortably while you get into red shirt pose. Letting all those ideas and things no longer working for you in your life just die and fade away. Letting go of circumstances you never had control over anyway. Just lie in the stillness of being dead to everything holding you back from enjoying the bliss of this moment, listening to your own body and moving accordingly without pressure or stress. To get into quake pose, swing your arms outward along the ground above your head and then bringing the forearms side by side in front of you to deflect oncoming bullets, clasp your hands and stretch and invert them over your head, releasing your hands and bringing your knee to your chest in Beva Pose. Hugging that leg, give your foot a nice BB-8 spin in one direction. And then stop and go the other direction. And now wrap around your opposite hand around your knee and pull the knee across your body only so far as you can with keeping your back and shoulders flat on the ground. Feel free to leave your leg some inches off the ground. Remember, you're doing great when you do what is right for you. Bring that leg back up to center. Grab that knee with the other hand and allow it to drop in an open position. Return to center and hug your bent leg feeling the gentle stretch in your back. And then just release it to the ground in a Lilu pose. Next, bring your other knee to your chest in Diva pose. While hugging that leg, roll your foot in a nice BB-8 spin. Then stop and change directions. Now pull your leg across your body with the opposite hand and feel the stiff back muscles twist, releasing any stress that you may have had pinned up there. Bring that leg back to center and take that leg with your other hand and allow it to drop only so far as is right for you. Then return to center and give your leg a good loving hug and then just release it to Lilu pose. While keeping your feet flat on the floor, pull your knees up, allowing your legs to drop open into Spider-Man pose. Take your hands and place them on top of your thighs. Now press firmly, stretching out that lower back until you feel your spine extend And then release. Then pull your thighs on either side of your chest in enterprise pose, keeping your shins parallel to the ground. Then with your legs still up at your chest, put your legs together in front of you and now curl your head forward in sonic pose. And relax and let the feet fall flat to the floor. Then with your legs still together, pull your knees up and keeping them together, let them drop slowly to one side in Donkey Kong barrel pose. Keep your knees at a distance off the ground in order to keep the natural curve of your back while keeping your shoulders on the ground. Then bring them up to center and exhale as you repeat by rolling your legs over to the other side. 
Move the legs back to center in Donkey Kong Barrel Pose and then let your feet go flat to the ground again, returning to Lilu Pose. Pull your knees up and having your feet flat and keeping your knees glued together, spread your feet apart about shoulder width apart to be in Sailor Mercury Pose. Now press those knees together, releasing pressure from your lower back. And then let your feet slide back to center and slide down into Lilu Pose. Breathe. Bend one knee, wrapping a strap under your foot. And then stretch that leg out straight towards the ceiling in Tetris Pose. Now while holding onto the strap with the hand opposite your raised foot, gently let that foot drop across your body as far as is correct for you, keeping your back and shoulders on the ground. Bring that foot back up to center and using the other hand, hold the strap and guide your leg gently to an open position. Then bring that leg back to center and release your foot from the strap, letting it slowly float down to the ground. Raise up your other leg, putting the strap under your foot and straightening that leg up toward the ceiling in Tetris Pose. Holding on with your opposite hand, lower that leg across the body. This allows you to stretch your legs while keeping your back in alignment effortlessly. Then, bringing the foot up towards the ceiling, grab the strap with the other hand and lower your leg to an open position. Lift the leg back up to center, bending the knee to unstrap the foot and slowly releasing the leg back down, stretching it comfortably into Lilu pose and just breathe. To do planting both feet flat on the ground, exhale, elevate your hips into Jake the Dog pose. Clasping your straightened arms underneath the bridge, rooting your arms into the ground. Breathe and inhale. Then again, slowly, let your back lower down in triple slow motion, releasing your arms to your side and sliding your feet down. Roll over onto your side and then onto your stomach, resting on your forearms with your feet flexed in a semi caterpie pose. Arch your back and Inhale, release to the ground, laying the tops of your feet on the ground and placing your palms next to your chest. Exhale, lifting up, arching your back and head into one smooth stretch into full caterpie pose and relaxing your muscles in your stomach. Letting go of any tension that you might have been storing in there. Inhale and release. Exhale, lifting your hips back and resting your weight on your heels. Bring your arms to your sides, palms up, and then just breathe there in Tribbles Pose. Breathe and fully realize you deserve this love and care that you're giving yourself. You are seeing that you are treating yourself, your body, heart, and soul like it belongs to somebody you love. Now, bring your hands to the sides of your chest and straightening the legs and extending the arms, 
feel yourself raising your hips up and back so that your hips are aiming to have an asymmetrical Starfleet command pose. Pressing your hips up and back towards the wall behind you, remembering that yoga is about becoming, specifically about becoming unstuck. So you don't have to beat yourself up if your final pose is more Assassin's Creed than the bottom curve of the Starfleet Command logo. As in life, getting unstuck from awkwardness begins when you replace self-judgment with self-love. Bring your feet aiming towards the ground between your hands and lift up slowly into Swifty Pose. Putting your forearms on your thighs and then using your hands to walk up so you don't put any strain on your back. Now just stand there in TARDIS pose. Tall, strong, and solid, yet also ready for an adventure. Spread your feet shoulder width apart, raise your arms above your head in Supergirl pose. Inhale while you interlace your fingers and invert your palms to face upwards. Exhale, leaning over to one side in Kratos Blades Pose. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, lean to the other side in Kratos Blades Pose. Come back to center and stand in Tardis Pose. Now, sit down in Lego Pose. Pull your right knee up, keeping your back nice and upright while you hug your bent leg in Liu Kang Pose. Now hook your opposite arm around your bent leg and turn towards that leg in seated Tron pose. Inhale and go back to center, returning to Lego pose. Raise and bend your hug your other leg and now grabbing that leg with the opposite arm, twist towards your bent leg in seated Tron pose. Return to center. Inhale and cross your legs or ankles in Yoda pose. Inhale, lifting your chest and torso high as if you're being pulled by the center top of your head. And exhale forward in seated Supergirl pose. Letting your arms extend out in front of you. Inhale as you come back up to Yoda pose. Exhale, switch to the other leg, and then inhale, stretch your body up again, and exhale as you extend forward with your arms forward in Supergirl pose. And then come back up to Yoda pose. Now, remaining seated, exhale and twist into seated Yoda Tron pose. Inhale, return to center. Exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale, return to center. Switch crossed legs. Exhale, turn into seated Yoda Tron pose. Inhale, returning to center. Exhale, turn to the other side. And then return to center. Now sitting in Yoda pose on a yoga block, thick book, pillow, folded blanket, or anything that raises your hips higher than your knees. Flip the top of your hips towards the front. Then release, then tuck the top of your hips back, cupping your lower back. Then come back to center, feeling balanced, lifted, and strong, returning to Yoda pose. Having given yourself this time, you'll feel better equipped to treat yourself and others from a more loving place today.